Number 15. The Mothman. Points Pleasant, West Virginia was terrorized by a tall, winged creature in a short period between November 1966 and December 1967. Witnesses described the creature as moth-like, with large red eyes which looked like bicycle reflectors. Hence, the public dubbed it the Mothman. Many of the sightings were around McClinton Wildlife Management Area, known locally as the TNT Area due to its former use as a World War II munitions plant. After the collapse of the Silver Bridge connecting West Virginia to Ohio, the Mothman vanished from Point Pleasant, leading believers to speculate whether or not it had anything to do with the disaster, which killed 46 people. Believers of the Mothman are divided into what it was, with some believing it was an extraterrestrial, while others considering it a sort of omen for bad occurrences. Mothman sightings have, indeed, been reported prior to great catastrophes, including the September 11th attacks. Although none of these claims are confirmed, the Mothman continues to be a subject of speculation within believers of the supernatural, and since 2002, Point Pleasant has embraced its claim to fame with the annual Mothman Festival and the opening of the Mothman Museum and Research Center in 2005. Number 14. The Dover Demon The town of Dover, Massachusetts was briefly terrorized by a gray-skinned, red-eyed creature known as the Dover Demon. At 10.32 p.m. on April 21, 1977, three friends, Bill Bartlett, Mike Mazoka, and Andy Brody, all 17, were driving north when they spotted something sneaking along a loose stone wall. Thinking it was a dog, the three were shown the car lights at it, but what they saw was an alien-like creature standing only four feet tall. The trio drove away in terror only seconds after the encounter. Bartlett is the only one who got a good look at the creature and relayed the story to his father upon returning home. His father drew a non-famous sketch of the demon, which is the inspiration for most artistic interpretations of the creature today. A few hours later, just after midnight, 15-year-old John Baxter had just dropped off his girlfriend and was walking home when he noticed a figure approaching him. After demanding the being to identify itself, it fled away before Baxter could get a good look at it. He described it as having a monkey-like posture, short with molded feet. These are the only two well-documented encounters with the Dover Demon, but residents claim to have seen it to this day. Speculation is, the demon is either a real demon from hell a deformity of nature, or an alien sent to observe us. Whatever the motivation, it seems the Dover Demon prefers to remain itself instead of fraternizing with humans. Number 13. The Mongolian Death Worm If you thought getting lost in the Gobi Desert would be bad enough, it's worse to know there's possibly a giant worm creature living beneath the sand with the taste for human flesh. The Mongolian Death Worms are said to be large red worms measuring 2 to 5 feet in length and thick bodies capable of consuming various animals whole. Nomads who roam the desert seem to have seen the worm spewing an acidic liquid, turning anything it touches yellow and causing it to corrode, while others said they are capable of releasing electric charge to stun their prey. Many people go missing in the Gobi Desert each year, and while some do end up making it out alive, the rest are rarely, if ever, found. Even the bodies are almost never found which further sparks talk of the death worms amongst local Mongolian population, which is in turn spread to tourists. So take heed, do not wander into the Gobi Desert, or you may end up in the belly of a disgusting beast. Number 12. The Skunk Ape In the Florida Everglades lives their version of Bigfoot. The Skunk Ape is a large, gorilla-like animal with what is said to be an almost unbearable smell, hence its name. While the earliest recorded sighting of a skunk ape was in the 1960s, Native Americans, originating from southern Florida, had told their children if they were ever lost in the woods, never to whistle, which has led many to speculate it relates to the skunk ape. The peak of skunk ape sightings occurred in autumn of 1974, and in 2000, an anonymous letter arrived at the Saratosa County Sheriff's Office containing two photographs showing the alleged skunk ape. What makes the photos terrifying is the close proximity to the ape the photographer had to have been, and the sinister looking smile on the ape's face. As of yet, the identity of the sender is unknown, and skeptics have said it depicts either an upright bear or a person in an ape costume. Believers still enter the forests of southern Florida in hopes of capturing a photo, video, 
or even a live specimen of the skunk ape, and whistle their favorite tunes as they do so. Number 11. Skinwalkers Known to the Navajo, Native Americans, as Yinald Oshi, skinwalkers are witches who possess the ability to shapeshift into animals. While most are associated with werewolves, skinwalkers can take the shape of any animal they desire, including wolves, bears, cougars, etc. In human form, they are usually male, but have also been said to be female. Skinwalkers are also said to lie within chaotic evil side of mortality, and are extremely dangerous should you encounter one. They enjoy causing people misery and inflicting fear on outsiders foolish enough to wander into their territory. They have been said to take on vicious animal forms to maim and kill people, and to break into homes in order to terrorize the occupants and steal from them. A lot of times they will play mind games with people by banging on their windows, walls, and roofs, and have even been blamed for car accidents in the southern western United States. However, if they are stumbled upon out in the open, they will cowardly flee and only fight back if backed into a corner and left with no other option. Skinwalkers have found their way into popular culture, including being featured in an X-Files episode and in Stephen King's novel, The Wind Through the Keyhole. Number 10. Champ Lake Champlain is a rather long lake within the borders of New York, Vermont, and Quebec, and legend has it a monster lives beneath its depths. Nicknamed Champ, early sightings were told by the Iroquois and the Abenaki Native Americans to new settlers in the area of a monster in the lake which they named Tatoskok. Founder of Quebec and the lake's namesake, Samuel de Champlain, is often credited as the first European to see Champ way back in 1609. There have been over 300 reporting sightings of Champ, and a famous photo taken in 1977 by Sandra Mansi shows Champ to resemble a plesiosaur from the late Triassic period. While named the lake monster, Champ appears not to be interested in terrorizing humans, preferring to live in solitude below the surface and popping up on occasion in order to take its surroundings. Residents of the three areas encompassing Lake Champlain have adopted Champ as an icon, with the statue erected in the village of Port Henry, New York, and the minor league baseball mascot for the Vermont Lake Monsters. Number 9. Kalapalak Originating in Inuit mythology, the Kalapalak is a grotesque humanoid said to live beneath the Arctic ice. These beings resemble women with green, shriveled skin, elongated fingernails, and long hair. The Kalapalak is the Inuit version of the Boogeyman, and is said to take away children who disobey and or mistreat their parents. The stories of the Kalapalak were used to deter children from wandering onto the ice by themselves, unless the children be taken away, forever a prisoner beneath the ice. While modern sightings of the creature are virtually non-existent, early European explorers to the Arctic did record strange occurrences of witnessing strange beings beneath the ice, though modern interpretations suggest these were seals and other water life mistaken for mythical beings. However, the legend of the Kalapalak lives on, and has expanded beyond the Arctic Circle. Famous children's author Robert Munch co-authored a story a Promise is a Promise with Inuit author Michael Kasugak about a young girl who was captured by the Kalapalak but offers her siblings in exchange for her freedom. So remember, children, don't wander onto the ocean ice by yourself, or the Kalapalak will drag you beneath the depths forever. Number 8. The Jersey Devil Finding its inception with the Lenape Native Americans, originally from New Jersey and Delaware, the Jersey Devil is a hideous monster said to live in the Pine Barrens region of southern New Jersey. It is said to have the face and the body of a donkey, hoofed feet, a pointy tail, and bat-like wings. In modern stories, the Jersey Devil is said to be the offspring of one mother Leeds, who had 12 children, and upon discovering she was pregnant with a 13th, declared it would be the Devil. An appropriate story of, be careful what you wish for. Mother Leeds gave birth to a devilish child which became the monster we all know today. Sightings have been regular, coming as early as the 18th century. Joseph Bonaparte, the oldest brother of Napoleon, is said to be one of the witnesses of the Jersey Devil, though this claim has not been verified. 
Sightings throughout the 20th and 21st century paint the Jersey Devil as a violent and malicious beast, attacking hikers, motorists, and campers around Pine Barrens. The Jersey Devil has become such a popular icon in the state. When New Jersey obtained the Colorado Rockies, the state opted to rename them the New Jersey Devils by popular poll, and have gone on to win three Stanley Cup championships, which would make even the Jersey Devil proud. Number 7. The Thunderbird Yet another creature from Native American mythology, stories of the Thunderbird are found in various Native tribes, from the Pacific Northwest to the American Southwest, and even as far as the Great Lakes. The Thunderbird first entered cryptozoological archives in April of 1890, when two cowboys reportedly killed a giant bird in Arizona. It was said to have no feathers, smooth skin, and a face resembling an alligator. Sightings have continued into the 20th century, with well-known Bigfoot researcher and cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman writing about several sightings she had researched in the 1940s. Into the 21st century, sightings have continued, and in 2002, a series of people spotted a large creature which they claimed to resemble something out of Jurassic Park in Alaska. And the story of the sighting was published in Anchorage Daily News. Skeptics have credited the sightings to everything from misidentification to mass hysteria to a series of hoaxes by people wanting their 15 minutes of fame. Whether or not the Thunderbird exists is up in the air at this point. Number 6. Old Ned A rather terrifying lake monster, Old Ned is the name given to the creature said to live in Lake Utopia, New Brunswick. Most eyewitness accounts would describe Old Ned as a giant eagle with a grotesque looking face with one artistic interpretation presenting the face to look similar to a whale with its mouth open. A woman named Norma Stewart documented 25 years worth of observation of Old Ned, claiming to have witnessed the monster to travel between Lake Utopia and the Atlantic Ocean, which she believed to be for mating purposes. Two common theories is Old Ned is a species of giant eel or an oar fish, though the reported size of Old Ned still baffles researchers to this day. While no known photographs or video of the monster exists, Old Ned is still a hot topic of discussion and anecdotes in Charlotte country and the rest of New Brunswick, meaning the tale of Old Ned will live on for the foreseeable future. Number 5. Spring-Heeled Jack A popular character from the Penny Dreadfuls of the 19th century, Spring-Heeled Jack was a strange man said to have superhuman speed and jumping skills. Jack was first reported in 1937 by Mary Stevens while walking through Lavender Hill, London, when a man pounced at her from the alley and began sexually assaulting her and digging his claw-like nails into her flesh. She began screaming, causing her assaulter to flee. After the attack, many more reports flooded the local stations of a devilish-looking man with great speed and the ability to jump onto roofs with one leap. Many speculated Spring-Heeled Jack to be a ghost or a demon while modern researchers credit the sightings to a series of assaults combined with mass hysteria, leading to the false memories of superhuman abilities. Nevertheless, the story of Spring-Heeled Jack spread across the United Kingdom like wildfire until his final sighting in 1904. Number 4. Wendigo If you go into the woods today, stay away from this creature. The Wendigo is an evil spirit from Algonquin legend in the eastern United States and Canada, and as the embodiment of cannibalism. Said to resemble a grotesque humanoid and even an anthropomorphic rotting elk, the Wendigo preys on travelers lost in the woods and stalks them for several days before possessing them and turning the person into a cannibal. After many years of cannibalism, following their possession, the person will transform into a Wendigo, then proceed to stalk and possess another human. In some legends, the Wendigo would consume a person then grow in proportion to what they just ate, meaning their hunger could never be quenched. The legend has even become a namesake of the Wendigo psychosis, a psychological disorder which causes a person to have unexplained cravings for human flesh. The disorder was often caused after families left desperate people to resort to cannibalism. As long as people continue to get lost in the woods and vanish without a trace, the legend of the Wendigo will live on. Number 3. The Beast of Bray Road Residents of Elkhorn, Wisconsin have claimed to be terrorized by a werewolf-like creature along the titular Bray Road and surrounding farmlands. 
The beast is described as a bear-sized, intelligent wolf humanoid. Local papers have dubbed the beast as a werewolf, though there have been no sightings of the beast changing into a wolf from human form or vice versa. Skeptics have pushed aside the claim sightings as mass hysteria and hoaxes, but many living in the Elkhorn area continue to tell stories of the mythical beasts of Bray Road, which has also been spotted in Illinois and even as far north as Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Interest in the beast were reignited after a video known as the Cable Video was discovered in 2002 and believed to date back to the 1970s. A series of home videos play before the cameraman wanders over to investigate a four-legged creature and he is attacked by what is claimed to be the Beast of Bray Road. There is much debate over the authenticity of the video since its release, but it remains part of a larger legend surrounding the town of Elkhorn. Number 2. The Chupacabra Literally Spanish for goat sucker, the Chupacabra is a wolf-like creature said to live in Central America, Mexico, the southern United States, and parts of the Caribbean. The first reports of the creature was in 1995 in Puerto Rico when a rancher found eight of his sheep killed and completely drained of blood with large punctures in the chest. That August, a woman reported seeing the creature near the Puerto Rican town of Canavanas, and up to 150 animals, including pets, were reported killed under the mysterious circumstances. Researchers have discovered reports dating to 1975 of similar occurrences in the town of Mocha, which were attributed to a satanic cult but bore striking similarities between the 1975 deaths and the 1995 attacks. A further 200 reports were made in 1995 and since then sightings have increased. In August 2008, a DeWitt County, Texas Sheriff deputy captured what is allegedly a chupacabra on his dash cam. Though skeptics believe it to be a Mexican hairless dog, since its original sightings, the chupacabra has become popular amongst paranormal enthusiasts and was even the subject of a running gag in the Red vs. Blue web series and a featured monster in the Red Dead Redemption DLC Undead Nightmare. Number 1. The Ogopogo Canada's answer to the Loch Ness Monster Ogopogo is a sea serpent said to be living in the depths of Lake Okanagan in British Columbia. While the name is mistaken for a First Nations word, Ogopogo got its name from a song by Cumberland Clark called the Ogopogo, the Funny Foxtrot, which tells the story of a monster who travels the world playing banjo. Silly name origins aside, Ogopogo has been spotted as early as the 19th century by First Nations people, which they considered a water spirit as opposed to the modern view of a monster. Sightings have increased since 1926, and people have shared photos and videos allegedly showing the lake monster moving atop the water. Many dived into the depths with scuba equipment and mini subs to capture a glimpse of the Ogopogo. Local pranksters constructed and dumped a giant statue of Ogopogo in the lakes in hopes of fooling unsuspecting people searching for the monster. But so far, that is the only thing remotely resembling a sea monster found in Lake Okanagan to date. Got an idea for a top 15 video? Be sure to submit it at top15s.net slash submit. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.